And as we can see, I'm currently hitting the 600 cap constantly. The game looks really nice and it feels extremely responsive. In today's video, you're going to learn the very best settings to optimize Overwatch 2 to get the most frame rate possible. If you find this video helpful at all, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to see more content just like this. Okay, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Battle.net launcher, go in this top left here, click the arrow and go settings. Then under the general tab where it says on game launch, we're going to change this to exit Battle.net completely. And then we're going to scroll down and where it says use browser hardware acceleration, we're going to turn this off. And it's going to ask you to restart Battle.net, you just hit restart now. Next to the play button, we're going to hit on the settings wheel and then go over to show in Explorer. And we're going to copy this URL here. So we just click up here, press control C to copy. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to right click our desktop and go to the NVIDIA control panel. From here, we're going to go adjust image settings with preview. We're going to use use my preference emphasizing and we're going to drag the slider over to performance and then hit apply. Next, we're going to go over to manage 3D settings and then program settings. Now, I already have it selected here, but you're probably not going to have it here. You just click add. Down at the bottom here, we're going to go and click on browse. And then at the top, we're going to click here and we're going to paste with control V uh, the URL that we copied earlier. And then we press enter. From here, we're going to go over to retail and then overwatch.exe, we want to add this. So for these settings, I recommend that you leave everything as is, but I'll tell you the specific ones you want to change. Low latency mode, you want to set this to ultra. Max frame rate, you can cap your frame rate. I have it uncapped right now, but if you would like to cap it, I recommend using the refresh rate of your monitor. So in my case, that would be 360 Hertz. Monitor technology, if you have G-Sync, please feel free to use it. It's a really good technology, but if you don't like G-Sync, you can always turn that off. I have it on. Power management mode, we're going to click on this, use prefer maximum performance. And then virtual reality pre-rendered frames, we want to set this to one. Once you've got all of this, you can hit apply. Next thing we're going to do is adjust desktop color settings on the left. Now I have my digital vibrance on 100% because I really like how it looks. But if you prefer lower, you can turn it lower. By default, it's on 50. But I find that turning this up makes games look so much more vivid and so much more colorful. And I really like how it looks. So once you've set this, you want to hit apply. And we'll still have the Explorer open from before. So we want to go over to retail find the overwatch.exe and right click it. And then we're going to go properties. In here, we want to go on compatibility. And then we're going to check the box here that says disable full screen optimizations. And then we're also going to click on change high DPI settings. In here, we're going to override the high DPI scaling behavior. And we're going to make sure it's on application. Hit OK, then hit apply. And then you're done with this exe. Next up, we're going to press start and type in game mode. Open the game mode settings, make sure this is on. And then at the bottom here, click on graphic settings. Next, you're going to click on browse. Next, you should be able to paste the URL that you copied earlier. So click at the top, press Control V. Then we're going to go into retail again and open overwatch.exe. Once you have the application here, you want to hit on options and make sure it's on high performance and using the card that you're using. So now that we're in Overwatch, we want to press escape, click on options. Next up, we want to go over to the graphics quality and we're going to default to the lowest we have here. Now, the thing with Overwatch is that it looks really good even on the lowest settings. So change this option to low. Then we want to use high quality upsampling to AMD FSR. It defaults to 0.25. You should try this out. I think this does look quite nice, but I actually have it on the highest it has. Texture quality can be high. Texture filtering quality can be low. Local fog detail low. Dynamic reflections off. Shadow detail off. Model detail low. Effects quality low. Lighting quality low. Anti-aliasing off. I really recommend if you're playing at 1080p, there is no reason to have anti-aliasing on. Refraction quality low. Screenshot quality doesn't really matter. Ambient occlusion off, local reflections off, and damage FX on low. Then we want to hit apply. Video tab, we want to make sure we're playing on full screen. Uh, this is just going to give us the most frame rate that we have available. Next up, we want to go on resolution and make sure we're using the highest refresh rate. There's a lot of options here, so make sure you're using the one at the very bottom, which should be the highest resolution and for refresh rate. Next is field of view. You want to make sure this is the highest that you're comfortable with. I use 103, and there's not a lot of reasons to use lower than that. Dynamic render scale, we want to make sure this is off. And then we're going to set render scale to custom and set the in-game resolution to 100%. Now, if you're having frame rate issues and you are on a very low end computer, you can lower this to like 80 or 75%, but I recommend 100. Uh, it just, it gives you the most clarity. Next up, frame rate, we want to set this to custom and we want to raise it to the absolute maximum, which is 600. Now, even if your PC doesn't get 600, um, like I'm saying, I cap my frame rate in NVIDIA and I think it's really important to make sure that you have this uncapped. So have it as high as you possibly can. VSync off, triple buffering off, and then reduce buffering on. Then NVIDIA reflex, make sure the Make sure NVIDIA Reflex is on Enabled Plus Boost. Go over to Details. I recommend that you turn on the display performance stats. You can see in the top left, I have my FPS. 
And the ones I recommend using is frame rate and network latency. Everything else isn't really that important. If you want a network clock, that's also quite useful. Next, we're gonna go over to the accessibility tab and we're gonna put camera shake on reduced, HUD shake off and reduce menu movement on. And this will just reduce the amount of weird movements that the game does whenever explosions happen and things like that. Color blindness, I think is a really good option. You can change the color of enemies and friendlies. So I have enemies on this pink and I have friendlies on neon blue, but you don't have to use this, but I recommend giving a look at some of these because some of these are really good. Next, we're gonna go over to the gameplay tab and at the very bottom there is enable high precision mouse input you want to make sure this is on because this will really help with your mouse input and if you're on a higher end computer you will notice this very quickly and then one thing we can do is we go to controls and under under controller we click on advanced aim smoothing and aim easing you want to make sure these are on zero percent even if you're playing a mouse and keyboard some people have said that this affects your aim so make sure this is all the way turned down so now that we're done with all these settings we can close overwatch and continue with the rest of the optimization we're going to press start go on file explorer go on our document documents, overwatch, settings, and settings v0.ini. Now the first thing we want to change is high tick input. We want to make sure that this is on one. If this is on zero, change it. Then we're going to press control F and type in fog. We see local fog detail, Put, make sure this is on zero. We're going to press control F again and type in anis and press enter. So we can find max anisotropy and max effects anisotropy. We want to make sure these are both on zero as well. After you're done with this, click on save. And as we can see, I'm currently hitting the 600 cap constantly. The game looks really nice and it feels extremely responsive. So hopefully this optimization guide helped you guys out to get some additional frames in Overwatch 2. Please let me know how you're finding the game and if there's anything you want to ask me directly, please feel free to join my Discord. The link will be in the description below. So like this video and subscribe for more content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the future. Goodbye.